A very blessed Sunday to all of you joining us from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, and International. Ayan. So, welcome po to the online Sunday worship service of Joshua Generation Worldwide Ministries Incorporated. I am Madge, and we are so blessed po na makakasama namin kayo this morning. Di ba, Atitin? Tama ka dyan, Madge! Ayan, good morning po sa lahat ng nanonood. We are honored to be your host for today. And good morning din po muna sa ating beloved Apostle Joshua and his family, sa ating mga executive leaders, sa ating mga district pastors, local and international church pastors, sa ating mga cell group leaders, and all our church members, and syempre sa ating mga first-timers or our VIPs. Thank you po sa inyong lahat for joining our celebration this morning. Ayan, so shout out din po sa aming pastors, Pastor Ed and Pastora Arlene, sa mga taga Batangas at sa lahat po ng mga nanonood today. Ayan, so shout out po sa inyong lahat. Continue nyo lang po ang pag-like, pag-heart, tag and share ng live stream link natin sa inyong mga social media pages chat group so as many as you can because for sure we will have another amazing revelation about God's word today. Yes, man match. Special shout out din po for those who are joining us for the first time. Thank you po for being here. You are our VIPs or our very important person. So if that is you, po ikaw po yon regardless kung may nag-invite sa iyo. Napadaan ka lang, na-curious ka lang, please type in the comment section that I am a VIP because we would love to welcome you and reach out to you. Please make sure to stay with us until the end dahil for sure, mabubusog kayo sa mga inihanda ng Lords para sa atin today. Ayan, so agree ako dyan at itin. You know what? Um, second week of the month pa lang pero grabe na yung blessing and revelation ng Lord sa atin for this month of June with the theme, The True Service. Ayan, so I believe po marami tayong natutunan sa topic last Sunday delivered to us by our beloved Rev. Noli Tangelon entitled, Serve the Lord. Ayan, so kaya naman po uh, before tayo mag-move forward to our topic this day, Let's have a recap first po about our topic last Sunday. Ayan, so personally po, um, what I've learned about uh, this topic po is that God created us to serve Him. Na kahit ano pa mang um, success, achievements, or any material things of this world na ma-achieve po natin, lahat ng ito ay maganda. But if wala po si Lord sa plan natin, or if we do not serve Him all of this, uh, things are useless. I agree dyan, Madge. Personally, I realized that nothing in this world will satisfy us unless we serve God. Sabi nga ni Reb Nolly, the ultimate reason why we exist is to serve God. Kaya naman, ay nga, let everything that has breath praise the Lord and let's claim by faith and action talaga yung Joshua 24.15 because truly it's really satisfying and fulfilling to serve others and most especially to serve God. Ayan, that's totally right, totally right Atitin. So talaga namang napakaputi ng Panginoon na bawat topic ay sadyang nakakabless at kaabang-abang. Ayan, so for sure, muli po tayong mabibless at may encourage sa message this morning about true service and the life of the Good Samaritan by our dear Pastor John Alfonte of Metro South 1, Munting Dupa. Pero, uh, bago po tayo magtuloy-tuloy, mag-Bible Trivia Time na naman po muna tayo. Ayan. So, for our question today, who served Laban for 20 years? Again, who served Laban for 20 years? A. Joshua B. Isaac C. Jacob D. Abraham Ayan, so just type your um, answer in our comment section below and later on, we will reveal the correct answer. Ayan, talaga namang exciting ang gagawin ng Lord sa atin this morning, di ba Madge? Kaya naman, wag na nating patagalin pa. Prepare our notebook and button for the Word of God and let us now get our hearts ready. Pati ang ating mga bosses, ang ating mga kamay, ang ating buong katawan. As we worship our good and great God in spirit and in truth. Let us bless the name of Jesus who is worthy. Let us praise the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah!
blessed Sunday morning po to everyone. Welcome po sa ating online Sunday worship celebration. First of all, binabati po natin ang ating dear Apostle Joshua Blas and his family, Execom members, district pastors, local pastors, international pastors, workers, cell group leaders, at sa lahat ng ating mga members na nanonood ng online Sunday worship celebration. Ako po si Pastor Jun Alfonte from Metro South 1, Muntinlupa. At ngayong month po ng June, ang theme po natin is about true service. Basahin po muna natin ang text sa Luke 10, verse 25. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly. Jesus replied, Do this, and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, Who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. Then they stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him, bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for an extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Familiar po tayo mga patid, no? the story ng Good Samaritan, at i-coconnect po natin. No? What true service as far as what the Good Samaritan did? Nature po natin bilang tao, kapag ginawan po tayo ng mabuti, ay susuklihan din natin o gagantihan din natin ng kabutihan. E paano kaya kung yung tutulungan natin o yung bibigyan natin ng serbisyo ay hindi natin kaano-ano, wala tayong relationship sa kanya, o baka maybe, baka enemy pa natin siya. At nagkataon, no, nangangailangan po siya at nakataya dito ang kanyang buhay. Tulad po ng story ng Good Samaritan, dumaan po yung pari at nakita niya yung taong nakandusay, lumihin siya ng daan at dinedma o binaliwala yung taong nangangailangan. Yung pangalawa naman po, ganun din, dumaan yung libita, lumihin din siya ng daan at hindi rin niya pinansin yung taong nakandusay. At yung pangatlo, dumating na po yung Good Samaritan. At dito po, no, nakita po natin, no, naawa siya, kusang loob na siya lumapit at binigyan po niya ng pansin itong taong sugatan. Pag-aralan natin, mga patid, ano nga ba yung tatlong T no, na makikita natin na karakteristik ng Good Samaritan? Una-una, yung first T, yung time, no, yung oras niya na binigay nung nakita po niya yung taong nakandusay, eh hindi na po siya nag-aksaya ng oras upang igugol yung panahon niya, upang tulungan, ipakita yung pagmamalasakit at pakikiramay. Although may barrier po, no, itong mga Hudyo at saka yung mga Samaritan, pero hindi niya pinansin no, kung ano man yung barrier niya. Ang ma mahalaga sa kanya, itong taong to na sugatan, kailangan siyang bigyan no, ng pansin at tulungan. Naalala ko mga pati, no, no, ako yung nandun pa sa soldiers, no, kapitbahay namin yung kagawad mi. Senior citizen na po siya at sineshare ko siya ng gospel. No? At nililayhan ko siya. No? Gustong gusto niya dahil na-experience doon niya yung kagalingan. May Alzheimer's disease po kasi siya. No? Sa nga raw, kumatok po yung asawa ng kagawad at nakikiusap. Pastor, pwede po ang bang uh, kayo ay ma-istorbo? Kasi yung kumari ko po ay meron pong sakit sa puso at nahihirapan po siyang Huminga. At ang nangyari po, 
ay sabi ko, sige po, no? Although may gagawin po ako, sabi ko, sige, unahin na po natin yan. Kasi wala po yung po silang driver, no? hinihintay nila, hindi dumating. At truly, na, na ako rin ay natuwa, no? Na pwedeng ako yung gamitin, no? Upang lalo itong buhay ay agaw buhay na kailangan pong tulungan as soon as possible yung tao. Ganun din, no? Yung member po namin na nagkaroon ng cancer. Namatay po siya, no? At patuloy yung nanay ay nagbibideo call sa ibang bansa at nakikiusap na kung pwede tulungan ng kanyang anak na babae. Ayusin po yung mga dokumento para makaabi ng tulong mula sa DSWD at iba pang ahensya ng gobyerno upang mabayaran yung mga hospital bill. Kaya tulong-tulong po kami mga Metro South leaders para maproseso ang lahat ng papers. Tinulungan po namin magpaterox, magpanotaryo, punta doon, punta rito. At kailangan po no, ipakita yung sacrificial love sa kanila upang truly yung oras na pangailangan ay sila po makita nila yung tunay na concern po tayo sa kanila. Ito man naman po no, yung talent, no, yung pangalawa. Kung babasahin po natin yung 1 Peter 4, 10 to 11, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength of God God provides, so that in all things, God may be praised through Jesus Christ, to Him the glory, the power, forever and ever. Amen. Nakikita natin, mga patid, no? ginamit po ng Good Samaritan yung kanyang talent, no? para paglingkuran yung nakahandu sa na tao. Kung ano po yung pinagkalob sa kanya ng Diyos, pagdating sa gift of service, ay ibinigay po niya yung kanyang full potential. Kasi mga pati, no, pwede po tayo punong-puno ng faith, no, pananampalataya, pero kung wala po naman pong action or gawa, ay patay din po yun. No? Marami tayong mga ministry no, sa simbahan na pwede po tayong magamit ng ating Panginoon. Voluntarily, no? Nandiyan po yung admin, worship team, children, finance, no? Kapag sinabi ni God na magpagamit ka na, kulang tayo ng volunteer. At truly, kailangan, no? Pag sinabi na, narinig na po natin ng ating Panginoon, ay dapat po nag obey po tayo. No? At tunay, sabi nga sa verse 34, no? He went to him, bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine. Then he put the man on his donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. Makikita natin yung Good Samaritan, ginamit niya yung kakayanan niya, no? pagdating sa sugat, alam niya ang kanyang gagawin, binuhos niya yung langis, at alak sa sugat ng taong nakahandusay. Ang langis, nagre-represent po yan ng Holy Spirit, at yung alak, the atoning blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at sa pagbabahagi din, mga patid, ng salita ng Panginoon. Ay, nakakapag-minister po tayo, no? through healing, sharing the gospel, at sa pagsishare natin, pag may mga karamdaman yung sinishare natin, ay pwede pong opportunity yun. No? Ay ilayhans po natin yung mga sinishare natin at sila po ay truly no? pwedeng ma-restore at ito rin yung time no? na makabalik sila sa ating Panginoon. So ang bawat sa atin ay pwedeng gamitin ng Diyos kung willing lang po tayong magpagamit. Doon sa mga talento na pinagkalob sa atin ng Diyos, Gagamitin po tayo ng Panginoon upang ang tao po, dahil ang tunay na meaning ng Christian is others. Yung ibang tao, no? hindi yung concern mo, kundi yung pangailangan ng iba. Yung pangatlo, ito naman po yung treasure. No? Kung basahin po natin yung Luke 10.35, The next day, he took out two dinari, gave them to the innkeeper, look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for an extra expense you may have as far as true service is concerned. So, hindi po nawawala yung sacrificial giving. Pagdating sa treasure, no? kailangan, no? hindi lang po time, hindi lang po talent, pati yung treasure, willing po, willing po tayong mag-sacrifice. No? Willingness to give this treasure no? upang tunay tulungan yung nangangailangan. Katulad po ng ginawa ng Good Samaritan. No? Dahil ano po yung meron siya, pati yung treasure niya, ay nagbayad siya sa innkeeper para alagaan no? at tunay no? makatanggap ng tunay na comfort 
yung taong nabubog o nasugatan. Truly, mga papit, ang true service, it eliminates self-centeredness and focus on selfishness and humility. Yung dalawang taong dumaan, makikita natin, isang libita at isang pare o priest. Pareho po silang identified bilang mga workers sa templo. Na nagtuturo ng salita ng Diyos, pero hindi po sila doers of the world. Both of them failed the test. At sabi nga ni President no, Tudor Roosevelt, sinabi po niya to, People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Nung bata pa po ako, ay marami pong story sa akin ng aking Lolo Ramon. No? At siya po yung naging empleyado ng Malacanang. At nung panahon na yon, ang, ang presidente mga patid ay si Ramon Magsaysay. Ang nangyari po, no, dahil pareho rin po sila ng pangalan, Ramon, as pareho rin po sila ng birthday. Kaya ang kwento sa akin ng lolo ko, no, na pag may birthday si President Ramon Magsaysay, eh, imbitado rin po yung lolo ko. At truly, no, makikita po niya na, halika Ramon, kutok, katok kayo. Punta ka dito, no? At truly, nakikita po niya na napakabuti, down to earth po ni uh, Ramon Magsaysay, no? sa mga empleyado, sa mga tao. Parang tunay, hindi po yung parang bossing siya, kundi binibigay po niya na tunay yung tunay na serbisyo sa mga tao. No? So, ganun din po. No? Uh, at least, sabi doon sa ng aking lolo, no? two to three times a week, no? gumaba po siya sa, mupunta siya sa city, inaalam po niya, mupunta siya sa mga ordinaryong tao upang alamin kung ano po yung mga problema ng mga tao. No? At ganun din, isa pong karakteristik ni Uh, President Magsaysay. Madalas po siyang magmaneho ng sasakyan niya na nag-iisa at wala siyang bodyguard. No? At minsan, nung siya po ay nagmamaneho, nakasombrero, eh, siya po ay nahuli ng polis. No? At truly, bumaba po siya at nakita po ng polis. Nung tinanggal yung sombrero, laking gulat po ng polis na, naku, kayo pala, Mr. President. Pasensya na po. Pero ang, ang sinabi po ni Mr. President, tama lang, no? I-record mo yung aking uh, violation. At kinabukasan, mga patid, uh, may order po doon sa chief of police na i-promote yung police na humuli po kay President Magsaysay. Makita po natin ano, na siya po ay tunay. No? Pinakita niya na bilang isang leader no? o bilang tunay na presidente ay madali po siyang abutin. No? At katulad din po ng Good Samaritan, ang itong Good Samaritan lang mga patid, ang pumansin sa taong sugatan upang tulungan, gamutin, at alagaan ang kaawa-awang taong nangangailangan. Kaya makita po natin mga patid, hindi pwedeng tayo po ay tunay maging ano lang, no? parang bossing lang o naalalaman na alam natin yung mga salita ng Diyos. Kailangan po napakamalaking impact ay meron po tunay na action no na pwede po tayong bumaba no sa level ng mga tao no? at dito makita po natin yung mga bagay ano bang sinabi sa bible what true service is number one, serving is one of our life purposes sabi po sa mark 8:35 for whoever wants to save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for me and the gospel will save it Ibig sabihin niyan, mga kapatid, no? eh, kung tayo po ay maglilingkod, ay eh, makikita po natin no? na ang paglilingkod po ay kasama po dyan yung ating buhay. Sacrificially. No? Hindi lang po yung salita, kundi even kahit buhay pala natin, no? willing natin ibigay for the purpose no? serving others. No? Number two, sabi rin dito, no? serving make us more Like Jesus. Sabi sa Matthew 20:28, Even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and give His life as a ransom for many. Makita po natin, ang ating Panginoon ay hindi po siya pumunta rito para paglingkuran, kundi siya ang maglingkod. Ganon din pala dapat ang ating attitude, ang true service, ay yung isip mo, ikaw ang maglilingkod, hindi ikaw yung pinaglilingkuran. So number three, Serving is the highest use of our time. No? Sabi sa 1 Corinthians 15.58, Stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully 
to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. No? So, so sa pagsisurve po mga kapatid, ang pinakamataas na pwede natin maibigay yung time natin na paglingkuran ng ating Diyos at ang ating kapwa. And number four, serving is the secret to greatness. Sa mga bisa Matthew 20.26, if you want to be great, you must be the servant of all others. Sa secular world, iba po ang ginagawa. Kung ikaw ay gusto mo maging great, ikaw ang nag-uutos, ikaw ang boss, pero kung tayo po bilang mga lingkod ng Diyos, kailangan po tayo po ang tunay na magpakita no, ng true servant heart sa tao o sino man ang kanyang level ay tayo po ay ang isip natin paglingkuran po sila. Amen? Sa so number five, serving will be rewarded in heaven. Mark 10, 29, 30, No one who has left home or brothers, sisters, mothers or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age. Kung makita natin, mga pati, ng tunay na paglilingkod, no? eh, you will truly serve. No? Nandun na po, naghihintay na po yung reward natin sa langit. No? Kung dito, parang wala kang reward, tandaan natin, mga pati, hindi po nasasaya yung ating mga pagpapagal dahil pagdating ng ating Panginoon, lahat ng ating mga ginawa ay re-rewardan niya. Magkakaroon po tayo ng tunay na awarding ceremony dahil sa mga ginawa natin no? na pag-serve unang-una sa ating Panginoon at sa ating kapwa. In recap, mag na po ako ng katanungan. What true service God demands of us? Are we willing, mga patid, to sacrificially give everything tulad po ng ginawa ng Good Samaritan? At hindi ko po nine-exempt ang aking sarili. Kasama rin ako dyan no? sa katanungan na yan. Yung tatlong T, yung our time, our talent, Our treasure, ikaw at ang Diyos ang tanging nakakaalaman ng iyong puso kung tayo po ay talagang willing no? ibigay yung tunay na true service para sa tao, ating Panginoon. Mga pati, tayo po ay manalangin. Panginoong Isus, maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa pinag-aaralan namin ito, Panginoon, about what true service in the life of the Good Samaritan. Oh God, we give, oh God, Come to you, Lord, with a humble heart. Give us your grace, O God, to be truly, O God, doers of the word, alive in action, O God, to have mercy, compassion, and be ex ex extend these hands, O God, to those who are in need, O God. Lord, the true service that you demand from us, O God. Lord, in sacrificial giving, sacrificial lahat na dapat ibigay sa amin. Kapwa, O God, ay ibigay namin. Time man to, talent man, or treasure, it is must be used to serve, O God, and put others first, O God, rather than ourselves. Lord, we pray all of this in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Muli, mga patid, magandang umaga po. Muli sa bawat isa, maraming salamat po. At mga patid, serve God, serve others, and God bless. Thank you po our worship team and thank you po Pastor June for delivering God's word for us today. Truly, we are so blessed by God with these words through you and to your life testimony about serving God and serving others. I know for sure that we have learned so much this morning. And just to share mine, yun nga, like the Good Samaritan, serving God or serving means giving fully the treaties, our time, our talents, and of course, our Pressure. And sabi nga ni Pastor John kanina, ang true meaning ng Christian ay others. Hindi yung concern natin, but yung concern and needs na ibang tao. Kaya naman, patuloy tayo na mag-serve, patuloy tayo mag-serve sa ibang tao and kay God. And let's continue to give our treaties as we serve other people and God. How about you, Madge? Amen. Agree ako dyan, Atitin. Sabi nga ni Pastor Ray, ano nga ba talaga yung true service? Diba? So, kanina, uh, minention ni Pastor yung five points. So, sabi doon, serving is one of our life purposes. It makes us more like Jesus. And it is the highest use of our time. It is the secret to greatness. And it will be rewarded in heaven. Diba, Titin? Amen, John Match. Certainly, serving God is rewarding and 
fulfilling. Kaya naman, for those of you who need a fresh feeling from God, you want to serve Him or you want Him to use you to serve Him, especially our first-timers who have yet experienced an overflowing heart, you want a changed life, be strengthened and renewed, now is the best time to surrender your life to Jesus so He can take care of you the way He has been wanting to. Kaya naman, we would like to invite you into a short prayer. Repeat, just repeat the words that I will say, but um, make the words your own. So as you open your heart to God, you might want to close your eyes so that you can focus on this very special moment with God. Shall we pray? Dear God, Dear God, I know that I am a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. And I ask for your forgiveness. And I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Send your Holy Spirit to guide me. Send your Holy Spirit to guide me. And help me become the person that you want me to be. And help me become the person that you want me to be. Thank you for your love and grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for your love and grace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Ayan, so if you pray that prayer with us, praise the Lord. You have just made the most important decision of your life. Today, you entered yourself before God and allow Him to fill you. Ayan, so the past is gone and the new has come. So you've been born again. Sabi nga po sa John 1.12, To all who did receive Him, to those who believe in His name, He gave the right to become the children of God. Ayan, so welcome po to the family of God and consider us as Joshua Generation Worldwide Ministries Incorporated as your um spiritual family and we'd like to know you more and be there for you as you continue to seek God and grow in your walk with Him. Congratulations, kapatid! There will still be challenges because the world we live in is not perfect. At tayo din, we will continue to be far from perfect. But now, you will begin to see that God is greater than any problem that you can ever have. And God's love is so great that He will not let you down. And He will always supply all your needs according to His riches and glory. Katulad ng halang na ginawa niya sa buhay ng ating kapatid na si Sister Erin Beatriz Sensico. Let us hear directly from her and afterwards, let us prepare our hearts and receive the priestly blessing from our dear Apostle Joshua. It says in Mark chapter 12, verse 41 to 44, And he sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the offering box. Many rich people put in large sums, and a poor widow came and put in two small copper coins which make a penny. And he called his disciples to him and said to them, Truly, I say to you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the offering box. For they all contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. Hi, my name is Erin from Joshua Jan Mindanao, one of the primary leaders here in Bukwan Local Church. My life before was different. Things were going well. My siblings and I were going to school. My parents can sustain the needs of the family. All of us graduated in high school with flying colors until the pandemic happened. I was able to enroll in college and still get to finish my first semester. But it was last December 2021 the year I have to stop going to college because they can no longer sustain me and my school needs. I remember how I feel lost on that day since everything seemed so impossible to finish my studies and we've been struggling financially for as long as I can remember. It was hard for me to keep going, especially serving the ministry, but still I continue to serve and desire more to give. 
I challenge myself to become faithful in giving, no matter how small the amount, because I remember what Ralph Eman told me that whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. That seed I kept on planting grows, especially in the ministry. I established my cell group and even the children ministry. It was also last November 2022 that God made a way for me to enroll in the home office training without me knowing what's ahead of my journey. To make the long story short, I got hired before the training and what amazes me was I didn't even apply for a job at that time and someone just reached out to work with me. I got my first salary without even starting my work and it was only a small cloud but they offered it to him fully. In addition to that, I made a covenant to give a portion equivalent to my tithes as my monthly contribution to our church. That's because I believe in what the Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 to 10 says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will be bursting with wine. After two months, God gave me an increase in salary. I get to be a blessing to my family and friends and it helped me sustain the needs of the ministry I have without worrying of running out of it. Indeed, God is a faithful God and that when you desire to give more, He will surely prove to you how faithful He is in blessing you. Once again, I'm Erin from Joshua Jen with One Local Church. Receive this teacher's blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you, be used to you. May the Lord be shouted as much as you can give His peace. Shalom and God bless. Be feeling God's fire and glory. Thank you po, Apostle Joshua, for the priestly blessing. And thank you din po, Sis Erin Beatrice and Siko, for your powerful and encouraging testimony. Glory to God po sa life nyo. Truly, um, your, our God is our greatest provider. Diba? Imagine at ito na once you give what's due to God, despite of your shortcomings, talaga namang magbubuka si Lord ng pinto ng pagpabala, kagaya na lamang ng ginawa sa buhay ni Sis Erin. Indeed, Mash. Grabe talaga ang goodness and grace ng Lord. At talaga namang nothing is impossible with Him. That no matter how impossible our situation in our eyes, kahit pa gaano kahirap ito sa tingin natin, or parang imposible, parang wala tayong uh, provision, wala tayong resources or resources, we can be able to surpass it. Basta magpatuloy lang po tayo na maging faithful kay Lord in serving Him and in giving to Him our tithes, our offering, and first fruits wholeheartedly, just like what Sister Erin did. Ayan, so agree ako dyan, Atitin. And dahil nga, we are about to end our program, let's go back po muna sa ating trivia a while ago. Ayan, so yung question po natin, who served Laban for 20 years? A. Joshua, B. Isaac, C. Jacob, D. Abraham. Ayan, so tana na na na. <laughs> Ayan, so ang correct answer po natin ay letter A. Ayan. So congratulations po sa mga nakakuha ng sagot. Three letter C yun. Ano? What letter A? Eh, si Jacob ang nakahighlight dito ha, tigi pangatlo. Letter... Si Jacob yun. Oo nga, letter A kasi nakaragay din sa correct answer. Game mo kay Norek, talaga. <laughs> Asya, oh, game doon tayo din eh. Saan? Tuntuwa pa naman ako. <laughs> Ota. Oh, okay, game. Ano ka eh yun? Pahighlight na eh. One, one, two, three, go. Thank you po, Apostle Joshua, for the priest of blessing. And thank you din po, Sis Erin, Beatrice, and Siko for your powerful and encouraging testimony. Glory to God po for your life. So talaga namang, um, God is our greatest provider. So imagine no, Atitin, once you give what's due to God despite of your shortcomings, talagang magbubukas si Lord ng pinto ng pagpapala, kagaya na lamang ng ginawa sa buhay ni Sis Erin. 
indeed match at grabe talaga ang goodness and grace ng Lord. Nothing is impossible with Him that no matter how impossible our situation in our eyes, sa tingin mo parang wala kang resources, walang provision, pero we can be able to surpass it basta magpatuloy lang po tayo na maging faithful sa sa Lord in serving Him and in giving to Him our tithes, our offering, our first fruits, wholeheartedly, just like what Sister Erin did. Amen. Agree ako dyan, Atitin. And dahil nga we are about to end our program, let's go book po muna sa ating trivia a while ago. Ayan, so sabi po dito, who served Laban for 20 years? A. Joshua, D. Isaac, C. Jacob, D. Abraham. Ayan, so ang correct answer po is letter. <laughs> letter C. Si Jacob. Ayan, so congratulations po sa lahat ng mga nakakuha ng tamang sagot sa ating Bible Trivia this morning. So tuloy-tuloy lang po ang pagbasa natin ng Bible para tama pa rin po yung sagot natin sa mga susunod na Bible Trivia on our succeeding online Sunday worship service. Ayan, yes, kita-kita kits pa rin tayo ang lahat sa susunod na linggo, same time 9am. At para lagi pa rin tayong connected and engaged kahit ilang araw muna po tayong hindi magkakasama. Ayan, so please make sure po to follow, like, and subscribe to our social media accounts and just search for the spiritual um, director of Joshua Generation Worldwide Ministries Incorporated. Next is Sons and Daughters of Zion. And meron niya din po pala tayong album sa Spotify na pwede nating i-follow at pakinggan buong araw. Ayan, so just look for JG Worship. So this includes our album Arise, Joshua Generation, Jesus the Name Above Every Name, and abangan din po natin yung um, album this year, our third album. Ayan, so coming soon na po. And syempre for us to be more connected, let us continue attending our cell groups, morning prayer meetings, fellowships, and activities in our local church or district. And, if, and for our leaders and leaders-to-be, please continue to join our powerhouse every Wednesday at 7 p.m. If you are not yet part of any, please leave us a private message because we would love to help you get connected. Ayan, so that's great. Talaga namang nakaka-excite ang ating mga activities. And as we end this morning, Atitin and I would like to thank all of you, especially our VIPs for staying with us until the end. Ayan, so stay blessed, stay grateful, and keep telling others about the goodness of our great God. Ayan, so God bless and shalom everyone.